Hello and welcome to Container Bytes. In this video, we're going to show you how to deploy Llama 3405 billion parameter model on GKE. Let's talk about it. So in this tutorial, we're going to see how to serve Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter large language model out of your own GKE cluster. Now with such a large language model, uh, you need a lot of GPU VRAM and there's only so many GPUs on a single node. This tutorial explains how to serve that large of a model across multiple GPU nodes, all using a construct called Leader Worker Set. Leader Worker Set is an open source Kubernetes API that deploys a group of pods as a unit or replication. In this case, it's being used for multi-host inference, which means that the large language model will be sharded and run across multiple GPU devices on multiple nodes. You can find the link to both leader worker set and this document that we're following in the description. Be on the lookout for an in-depth video on leader worker set on this channel soon. For serving Llama 3.1405 billion, we are using VLLM as the serving engine. VLLM supports both tensor parallelism and pipeline parallelism. In this tutorial with two nodes of eight H100 GPUs, we can use two-way pipeline parallelism and eight-way tensor parallelism to fit the model in our GPU nodes. Here we can see how to create the node pool for our tutorial. The key things to note here are the number of nodes, which is two, as well as the accelerator type, which is NVIDIA H100, with each one of them having 80 gigabytes of video RAM, as well as count of eight, meaning on each one of these virtual machines, there is eight of these accelerators present. You can get a more detailed look at each of these nodes using cube control describe node, and then using the name of your node. Here we can see the number of GPUs as well as other metrics like number of CPUs, a fair most storage and memory available on each node. Here we're defining our leader worker set that is going to run our workload. We're going to have one replica with size two, one of them being the head and one of them being the worker. And first we define the leader, which is the head node in this. We're gonna have this container, which is the VLLM Docker container that is going to run serve to serve our workload. We also set our hugging face token, which you need to create. We already have created this for this cluster. In the leader worker, we run the rayinit.sh with the ray configuration. Here in the leader container, we set our tensor parallel size to eight and pipeline parallel size to two, which is going to shard our model into two pipeline parallel shard and eight tensor parallel shard to be able to fit this large model into two nodes each with eight NVIDIA H100 GPUs. In our worker template, we have our worker that is going to connect to our leader using the Ray address with the LWS leader address, which is set. And finally, we set up a service of the VLLM leader, which we will use to connect to our large language model. We already created a leader worker set in our cluster by applying this configuration. We can see that using kube control get LWS, we'll see our VLLM leader worker set is already created. We can also see our pods that got created, keep control, get pods. We'll see that VLLM-0, which is our leader pod, and VLLM-0-1, which is our worker pod, has already been created. Now that the model is deployed, let's go ahead and connect to the serving endpoint. We're going to say kube control, get service. And here we can see the VLLM leader service that was stood up as a response to the leader worker set being deployed. So we can say kube control port forward and the name of the service and the ports that you want to bind. We can go ahead and send a request to the completions endpoint on the VLLM server. And here we can see the response coming from our model deployed across multiple GPUs and multiple nodes. In this video, we learned how to serve a very large model like Llama 3.1405 billion parameter on GKE. We used leader worker set to shard the model across two nodes and eight GPUs on each nodes. In a future video, we'll take a deeper look at LWS and when to use LWS for serving use cases. See you then.